Grant, what's the next event? Guess the song from 132nd of a second. So this is further than we've ever gone. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the breeziest show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosner, awesome. my tactical co-host, Dignan. Don't move. Today we're competing for gold, silver, and bronze. This is Audio Olympics. Olympics. So you've seen our audio games before. Guess the song from one second. Guess the song from reversed audio. Guess the song from sped up audio, etc. Today we've combined all of those games into one Olympic game. Each question will be a different length or manipulation of audio. 13 rounds until a winner is crowned. But today we're once again joined by a very special guest. Quadeca. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. A new game. A new game. This is so exciting. It is great to meet you. What are you talking about? <laughs> we like we go way back. I'm happy to have you on the show. Oh god, oh, it's gonna be one geez. of those again. So we understand the rules, right? One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus Quadeca versus you, Aaron from Nephi, Utah. Utah to see yourself out of here. Utah, uh, <laughs> Utah ought to get it out of here. <laughs> All right, before we do it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website. It's linked in description. It's on the screen. Also linked in description is our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. <laughs> Lastly, Quadeca is on tour. He's on tour. <laughs> <laughs> the poster's on the screen. Go watch Quadeca perform music in your city. Live. I'm, I'm so nervous about this. You know what I'm saying? What what countries did you guys choose to represent for the Olympics? Uh, oh, we didn't. We just called it Audio Olympics because it's like many different like events, what? I guess. Yeah. We didn't represent any countries. We're just representing Hive Mind, I guess. Right, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be representing for the great country of Bulgaria. <laughs> Red, white. Green birth rate of 1.56 births per woman, ranked 20th uh, in internet speed, 20th that's, in the world. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's good. I guess, um, I guess that sounds good. There's nine uh, UNESCO heritage sites there too. Who figures out the birth rate per woman? That's like a <laughs> weird. That's a weird thing to say. 13.4 percent circumcised, which is low. That I guess. What's the U.S. <laughs> like 90 something? Bullsh probably. Bullsh. Well, no, it can't be. There's almost 50 percent women here. I, uh, <laughs> All right, Bulgaria it is, and me and Riley will represent the great nation of Hive Mind. Yes. All right. Grant, what's the first event? Guess the song from one second of audio. Oh. The first one we ever did. I remember that day like it was yesterday. You were not here for that. Uh, Grant, let's hear the one second clip. Sorry. <laughs> second is so long, man. I'm bored. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're bored? I'm bored with that one second. What can we do? To make it more entertaining <laughs> oh for you. I'll be we'll we'll shorten it over yeah. time throughout the events, you know. Yeah, it's Want just, me to get my unicycle? That would be cool if you could. It's not even a unicycle, you cut a bike in half. <laughs> yeah, you get all evil about it and you're like, it's a unicycle. It's a unicycle. It's <laughs> technically a unicycle. It's not. What would you call it? A bicycle? Because that would be wrong. I would call it a bicycle poorly cut in half. Like, it's not even like you use the seems, right machinery. You literally just sawed it with this rusty like saw could, from your garage. Seems like you could save yourself some words and just call it a unicycle. One second, it's like one fourth or one fifth of the Rihanna, Kanye, and Paul McCartney song. <laughs> one second, that's like one thirtieth of the way to Mars. Is that true? 30 seconds to Mars is a band. Oh Jared, shit, Jared, dude, Jared I'm out of the loop on that shit. Jared Leto. Jared Leto was in that band? Yeah, now he runs a cult. Oh, that's cool. Jared Leto runs a <laughs> cult now. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sorry Not Sorry by so, Tyler. Same. Same. It's Sorry Not Tyler by Tyler the Creator. <laughs> Woo! Woo! From the estate sale. Fire. That's the best rap song I've heard in like a year. I love Wharf Talk as well. I think that one's crazy, but he doesn't like because he hates whenever he sings. Yeah, uh, he does. Yeah, but I thought that song was beautiful. I like it. I like all the extra songs. I have no hot takes on really any of them besides of how good that one is. Yeah. I'm like glad they're all out there now. That's about as bold as I'm going on my statement. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy for once in my life. All right. And you guys want me to have a hot take again and again. Didn't say that. It's like say something extreme, do something crazy. And it's like, no, finally I'm at a place where I can just breathe and be happy. And that's nice. I don't want to go around killing people anymore. Then stop. I, I don't want to steal money from homeless people. You, I, again, just, you, you don't have, nobody's telling you to do that. I don't want to lace the Girl Scout cookies with LSD anymore. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I just want to be normal. And I'm just happy. Aww. Let's just move on. I can't tell if this is a sweet moment or if I'm more concerned <laughs> about that last thing you said. I knew about the killing and the stealing, but yeah. the, the, Girl the, Scout the things, lacing the Girl yeah. Scout cookies seems problematic. Grant, let's listen to a little Tyler. Sorry. I'm 
sorry I don't see you more. Great song. Da, 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 da. It's beautiful. I would prefer if you would change it to a B for Bulgaria because I'm not representing myself there. Oh, I, I thought it was a B for Ben. No, it's a B for Bulgaria. B for Bul- Okay. Yeah. So you're Bulgaria. Yes. Grant, what's the next event? Guess the song from the reversed audio. What does that mean again? Uh, it means it's backwards. So you remember how your favorite Led Zeppelin song has the part where it's like, I'll take you out to the shed, Satan's shed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I will yeah. cut you up in I the like shed. That part. Yeah, yeah. I will cut you up in Satan's shed. Mm -hmm. I will take <laughs> you there, take you back out to the shed. That's reversed, so. It's how you usually listen <clears throat> to Led Zeppelin is how these songs will be. Got it. Oh, interesting. It's already gotten much harder. The worst is when you start hearing the reverse thing as its own song. Then yeah. you know you're too, like the reverse shit, it's like if you don't get it as soon as it happens, you're done. Fan jam out. Stop. <laughs> no, don't do that. I just gotta say something, by the way. Yeah. A hundred grand? Way too much for a candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inflation. Three, two, one. I put go to to moon. I put pop star by Drake. I put family ties. This is walk by Comethazine. Oh. oh. Kendrick and Comethazine sound just alike to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I don't know. I wanted to touch tips, maybe. <laughs> okay. Not you. No, no not area. If a nigga wants some smoke, I let it chop and eat it liver. That song is so classic. No, that song is fire, and the yes. video is awesome. It's one of my favorite Cole Bennett videos ever. Yeah, I feel like it was a very ripped off video. Like after that video came out, a bunch of people were doing were doing that exact video. Yeah, and get old people on Craigslist to be in their videos. Like yeah. they have like a, a family and like a nice neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, after that video, like the price went up for like every boring looking old white guy in like the LA casting world. Yeah. Like I just kept seeing all of them in the same, like there's that one old white lady who's like in all of the videos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, she's like, she has a good hustle. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like being the old white lady that gets offended in the rap video. Where she's like, <laughs> what? You can't do that here <laughs> yeah. second question has been asked uh normally i would do a bar of the day right i have some great bars prepared yeah so here here goes nothing i guess so you're gonna do one you said normally i would do one i said so here goes nothing okay here goes nothing okay Gorda stara planina. Done duna vasine Slon se trachia o griva Nad pinira plamene Let me guess that was the Bulgarian national anthem? That's correct. Okay. That's fire. Wow. Yeah, I yeah. heard Tiesto remix that. <laughs> yeah. I prefer the bars of the day, but I mean, hey, whatever. There is a lot of bars there. They're talking about the great mountains ah. of Bulgaria. All right, well, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Grant, what's the next event? Guess the two songs being played at the same time. All right, two okay. songs at once. Two possible points here. I hate this one. Somebody grabs it. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody grabs it. This one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, Ben. Aw, thanks, dude. Do you have like a full, like is Dignan short for something? No, like why would there, it be short for something? I don't, don't know, there could be, there could be a, a longer name. Don't ask him about his last name, please. No, I know his last name. My sister's name's Dignity. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is, who's, uh... She's a congresswoman. Oh, she's a con What side? Tennessee. <laughs> Think you know. Yeah. <laughs> we are estranged. Oh. We're estranged. We don't talk. Yeah. Riley's met her. Really? No. I didn't know you, you had a sister until this very moment. This You've is, met my sister. In a bad mood today, dude. <laughs> no, Jesus. but it's just like, it's just like his life is inconsistent. No, At one not. point, he told me that he had a brother named Dunlap yeah. and his last name was Durkin. Then all of a sudden, he said he had never said that and his last name was Zazumba Zaffodil. I never said that. <laughs> you never said which one? The latter. Zazumba Zaffodil? You never, never said, said that. It. I could pull up a video. Pull up the right camera. Now. Pull up the <laughs> pull camera. Up the camera and shoot it. <laughs> That's not how- That's how I do my music videos, run and gun. It has Pull nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> Literally nothing. Now you're saying you have a twin sister named Dignity who's a Tennessee congresswoman? Yes. Yeah, okay. I just don't believe it. I mean, I've been very consistent about my life, okay? Yeah. Everything's the same. I got a mom, a dad. I got a dog named Hank. Must be nice. <laughs> really rubbing it in. I got a brother named Keegan, a sister named Meredith, and my uncle is Tony Hawk. I've said that <laughs> since I started yeah. doing this channel. Yeah. Okay, I've said the same thing every time. I don't switch it up for to, uh, to start a new whole reality. I just I just stick to my guns. Yeah, so does Dignity. That's why she's a congresswoman in Tennessee. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put a lot and what's next? Rap Devil and Killshot. I put Till I Collapse and Bad and Bougie. 
It is Rap Devil by MGK and Kill Shot by Eminem. Oh my god. I thought I heard M. I thought I heard Drake. Yeah, I thought I swore I heard Quavo. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that was a big two point bucket for Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which has a 98% literacy rate. 98%. Yeah, what are there, like, 4 million people that live in the country? 6.78, I think. 6.78 yeah. million? So it's literally Ohio. Um, that's <laughs> Ohio's bigger. Does Ohio have a special salad dish named Shopska that won best dish in Europe by the European Parliament? I don't think so. I, guess not. I don't I think guess, they I did. Doubt it. Shopska? Yeah. It's a Present. salad. What's in it? You have to go to Bulgaria to find out. Oh. <laughs> How you gonna name yourself after a damn, damn gun, gun and have a man bun? Yeah, I was cashing in on this shit back in, in my day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I was making YouTube videos about it. Somebody grab some clippers. This fucking beard is weird. He digs a hole in the music video, which I can relate to. Why? Because of that movie, The Holes. It's like a great movie. And you like the movie Holes so you can relate to the fact that MGK is digging a hole in the video. Correct. Dig it up, out, dig it. You ever seen Holes? Uh, nah, I shouldn't ask you that. Never mind. All right, Grant, what's the next event? <laughs> Guess the song from a half second of audio. Easy. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Shit, I thought it'd be easy. Me too, it's like... <laughs> oh God, this one I feel like is on the tip of my head. Fully loaded baked potato. Thought it would come with a banana clip. <laughs> is that your attempt at a... One liner? No. Just like <laughs> when you get a baked potato, they're like, would you like that fully loaded? <laughs> and then they give you a big round of ammunition instead of cheese and bacon. Uh, right, yeah. I was going to say it's loaded with cheese, bacon, sour cream sometimes. Yeah. This is loaded with 30-06 armor proofing full metal jacket rounds. <laughs> That's what I want my baked potato loaded with. Ammunition strong enough that it can pierce a tank, let alone the flesh of a man. I don't think there's many places that will serve that. You'd be surprised. Where, Applebee's or something? Florida. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the whole state of Florida. I did forget about Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They encourage you just to walk around with bullets. I get the uh, the bath salts latte at the Starbucks <laughs> in, in Florida. <laughs> it wakes you up, I'll tell you yeah. what. Three, two, one. I put Rich Spirit. Put 90210. Put Fully Loaded. This is No Idea by Don Tolliver. Oh, of course, it has yeah. the atmosphere of a Don song. Yeah, that's why I heard Travis Scott on there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <sighs> oh, yeah, I definitely know that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song yeah. rocks. He's good with them hooks, you know? He really is. Bro, sounds like a damn flute on that. Don't say shit like that. Don't say people sound like a flute. Why not? It feels crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, like, you know, my mom sounds like a tuba. Jeez. You know, my dad sounds like an oboe. Yeah, he does. And oh. my sister sounds like a violin, my brother like a viola, me like a baritone sax. And guess what? As a family, we are a symphony. <laughs> oh my god. That was beautiful. That'd I'm gonna be a started terrible crying. symphony. I'm not done. <laughs> okay. Tony Hawk is a clarinet. Oh. Why, Why do you call him Tony Hawk? Because it's more name recognition for you guys. If I go Uncle Tony, you guys aren't imagining the best <laughs> skater to ever live. If I say Tony Hawk... I'm picturing the 900. You're picturing exactly the 900. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's been working on a thousand. No, he, it's not. He's like 60, dude. He's, he's not, gonna do it. He can't get an extra spin off. <laughs> he's making a surprise appearance at the next X Games. He's gonna hit a thousand. No one even watches the X Games anymore. <laughs> he said, hey, Riley, I'm going for quadruples. Quad what? <laughs> Quadruple digits. The 900's already four spins. But digit-wise, it's only three digits, oh, nine, true. zero, and zero. Yeah, you're going for quadruples. He said, I'm going for, I'm going for quadruple digits. Quadruples. <laughs> quadruple digits. <laughs> DJ Grant, let's move on to the next event. Guess the song from the sped up audio. Okay. I like that. I do well on this one. I do terrible on this one. I've never been able to understand the sped up stuff. I'm not going to miss another one for the rest of the video. He goes through life in, in one fourth speed. So it makes it a lot easier for him to do the fast ones. <laughs> so Grant, is this, it's five seconds sped up into one second? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. five times speed here. Five times speed. <laughs> That song is awesome. We should fucking headbang together later, all of us. I'm super down. That's surprising. I'm down to headbang later. <laughs> You'll find this interesting, this idea that I just had. I think the music on Guitar Hero and Rock Band has created like a new resurgence of nostalgia for people my age to like make Guitar Hero music and they're their own thing. So there's people that are like Zoomers and shit like making Guitar Hero music that's like 90s grunge rock and shit. Yeah. But it's it's like kind of interesting. Yeah, no, know? definitely. There's always like one song by each artist like 
like every younger person, when you're surprised that they know a band, then you'll think about it and be like, oh, there was one song by yeah. them on Guitar Heroes. So that's why they know it. Yeah. You know, there's a bunch of shit like that for me too. Guitar Hero 6, The Smiths. <laughs> I would go out tonight, but I haven't got a stitch to wear. The power. <laughs> to die by your side, but I have only way to die. Three, two, one. I put born yesterday. Tell me a joke. I put Crocodile Rock. <laughs> this is Tell Me a Joke by Quadeca. I always feel like bad when I get these cheating. ones right. Yeah, yeah. you should have yeah. just sandbagged. I could tell by your reaction that it was your own song. <laughs> Has anybody ever like nightcored your music? Yes. Really? And sometimes it goes crazy. Yeah? I remember somebody did a Sisyphus nightcore. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this shit's actually like better. Really? Yeah, I was like, damn. I, <laughs> I should have done this that. shit, dude. <laughs> well, another point for Bulgaria. Um, another fun fact, right? Everybody yep. loves that. Sure. This one, you're you're going to like this one. I'm, I'm, I'm Did you know here. that uh, Bulgaria's flag has never been captured in battle. whoop de doo oh, Who have they fought? Anybody good? Probably tons of wars. They were in the Balkans and shit, so they're yeah. kind of like... That was like low-key their golf war. Same era. You know what I mean? 90s. That was their <laughs> masters then, huh? Golf war. Yeah. <laughs> I fought in the golf war. <laughs> I was up two on Tiger going into Sunday in 2005, and I think you know how the rest of the story goes. <laughs> I don't, but I'm going to pretend I do. He drone struck my family. <laughs> and I lost a few boys to IEDs. I lost a few boys to IUDs. There we go! <laughs> How'd you lose them? <laughs> they, never, they were never born. Ah, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Millions of them. Honestly. <laughs> Good song. I have a few notes. I know it's out, but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Feels like you could have worked in one of my tweets. Yep. Like yeah. the beginning, you know, you have the the cheesy jokes. Yeah. The, the, it, it was an amorphous tempo. What's the What's up with airline food? Yeah. You know, you could have gone. You're telling me a cis team beat this <laughs> built this chapel. You know, yeah. something like that. Like this yeah. flight's about to be a movie, and then there's like the A24 sign. Yeah, I'll just up. put the picture of the A24 in yeah. the song. Yeah. And then the fire emoji, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Or yeah. like you could put one of my jokes in there. Like what? Scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers. You're telling me these lunch suckers don't know suck punchers? <laughs> That's can you just like text that to me? Like, Again. Yeah, yeah. Scrunch fuckers at Fud Ruckers? Yeah, I heard you. I You're telling know. me that's lunch suckers? <sighs> What the hell? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough being it's just, funny, man. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm such you, a serious person. What? You just <sighs> threw together a bunch of syllables that sound similar. Fud Ruckers is a restaurant. I know. Scrunch fuckers are little guys scrunched up together. So the scrunch <laughs> fuckers are at Fud Ruckers. You're telling me lunch suckers? That's a special they run on Wednesdays for lunch. And then the other word, I forgot what I said. <laughs> but it all worked together, I'm telling punch, you. Punch. Like sucker punch. Yeah, yeah. Suck punchers. Yeah. Suck punchers. Yeah. And that's like, I'll punch the scrunch fucked up guys if they eat all the <laughs> lunch specials. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that makes it a joke. Because <laughs> it works. Great, right, what's the next event? Guess the song from a quarter second of audio. No, 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 okay, no, no. Okay, we're getting even quicker. This event reminds me of my old phone plan. What? Quarter a second. <laughs> <laughs> Used to rent, run up that bill. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter a second? That's expensive. Oh, it's like the yeah. Like, it's no, really that's like a lot. crazy expensive. Yeah. I didn't even think about it. For yeah, it. I'm still in debt. How much do you owe? 33. 100,000. <laughs> 3,300,000 bucks. <laughs> that's Come a lot. On. Oh, hey, that would, can we dap up for that? Or, oh, okay. Like this. All right. Where did the Jinx, you owe me a soda thing come from? Definitely from somewhere racist. I was going to say, like Jinx be, seems yeah. problematic. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I feel the same way about Scooby Doo. I feel like that show couldn't be on now because they're going, Jinkies. <laughs> it just sounds like there's something going on. That word doesn't sound. I'm not saying that it is racist. Yeah. I'm saying that it sounds racist. It has the tone of yes. a racist phrase. I was thinking about this too. How old are the Scooby Doo characters? Now? No, when they were doing it. Because, like, the idea of. 14 this, through 30. <laughs> right, but, like, who's 14 and who's 30? Velma is, is young. I'm going to look this up. Yeah, there's something problematic going there. Who was screwing the jock and the blondie? <laughs> Weren't they, weren't they fucking? <laughs> Who's the blondie? Isn't Freddy the blondie and the jock? Yes. So the blondie and the jock are one Freddy. That's Freddy. And he's not really the jock. He's wearing but, like a sailor outfit. Yeah, he but he's like. He's the jock. We all know it. He's yeah. No, yeah, yeah, he's the hot guy. Okay. He would yeah. know about sports. Like if you were on the mystery bus and you were like, you see the Browns win last night? He'd turn around and be like, bullshit. Yeah. Something like that. But he, Shaggy's the sneaky good screw. 
He's kind of like a, <laughs> he's like a line cook. Like he's yeah. like he's like got a yeah. line cook vibe where like yeah. he's not attractive, but once you get to know him, huge pipe. He's tall Definitely. and he lays pipe. Yeah. And he's got that skinny sleeps on a floor mattress, lays that shit down. That's vibe. what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He'll exactly. smoke you out too. Exactly. And then Daphne is same kind of dynamic. Daphne's like the hottie. Yeah. But then Velma is the sneaky hot one who covers it up with her glasses. I'm a nerd, but yeah. like beneath all that, she's you can got see secret box. Yeah. You can see what's going on. See Box. Yeah. Exactly. All right, that I'm looking up stuff. there. I'm looking up their ages to see how inappropriate this conversation is. <laughs> Who drove that bus? I think it was Freddie. Freddie drove. I think he was canonically gay, low key. <laughs> Freddie. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Fred and Ooh, Fred and yikes. Shaggy are 17. Perfect. Daphne is 16. <laughs> okay. Velma's 15. Awesome. And for the purposes of the series, the kids were made roughly the same age, 16 to 17 in season one and 17 to 18 in season two. So mm. we've learned that if we were talking about season one, very problematic. I think by season three, we're in the clear to have that conversation about the sneaky pipe and the secret box. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I guess today we solved a mystery of how hey. old all the characters are in Scooby-Doo. What are we doing now? Oh, one. Is it still? We haven't done quarter second. We haven't even started. Nope. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. This one's difficult. Not if you're smart. You got it? I don't know. <laughs> I had one song come to me, but I know it's not this one. I was going to say Dancing Queen by ABBA. Oh, I can kind of hear that in the note. Because it goes, ah, like that's the first thing that came to mind. I mean, See that girl. ABBA's awesome. Yeah, they're good. Two nominations last year. Yeah, they're nominated for the Grammys really? all the time now. Yeah. They probably won more Eurovisions themselves than Bulgaria has, dude. How many have they won? You're not supposed to have to look it up. Yeah, that's if you're really representing them. Oh, no, I just... Uh, sorry, I'm just getting a call from somebody. That's not true. I, mean, I, did, I literally no, you saw... You literally have it pulled um, up. Nope. You have tabs of Bulgaria facts pulled up. No, I, I literally don't. It's just on a call, guys. Who is Bulgaria it? Bulgaria won. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a big pop smash that I can guess. Big pop smash. Flowers. Miley Cyrus. Big song. That could be it. Easily. Write it. Book it. Sell it. Buy it back. Sell it again when the price goes up. Pack it. Ship it out. Import it. Export Ooh. it. Three, two, one. I put Flowers by Miley Cyrus. I put Chop Suey. But dumbest girl alive. This is Welcome to My Island by Caroline Polachek. Oh, Amazing. I can hear it. Ah, totally makes sense. I was thinking that one because the guitar. Like, yeah. It sounded like that. Yeah. Oh, and that does kind of sound like an ABBA song in certain ways. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I do love this song. I thought it was Take a Walk by Passion Pit at first. I heard that as well. But then you told me to guess Flowers by Miley Cyrus and I followed your orders. I thought it was the part of Chop Suey where you guys, Die! <laughs> like, <laughs> Angels deserve <laughs> to Die! die! I think I would have gotten it if it was a different section. DJ Grant, what's the next event? Guess the audio from three songs playing at the same time. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. three. I'm excited Perfect. for that one. Two is easy, now it's three. This is a big way to rack up points here. Yeah, that's we, true. You know, me and Riley could tie you. Damn right. We could tie you up in the janitor's closet in our office, leave yeah. you there for a few days, bring you food, just enough to keep you alive, and then break you out to do videos whenever we want. We could do that. You're already doing that. <laughs> that's not enough food. Uh-oh. You know what? I have, I, have, I have a guess. I have some kind of guess. So do I. Your next album, you should drop it like all the songs are in one. And yeah. it's up to the fan to pull them out. That's fire. I like that. And it comes out and it's just like. <laughs> I put every song like at a specific degree in the panning. Yeah. So you have to go. Th you know what I'm saying? You have yeah. to go through and just take it out. But so you can. There's a clean signal for yeah. all the songs. That would work. I don't think it would. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, I put Chainsaw Party by Cemetery, Party Police by Always, and Come Ooh. and See Me by Party Next Door. I put three Lonely Island songs. Which ones? Threw It on the Ground, Boss, and I Just Had Sex. I put Chainsaw Party, Party Like a Rock Star, and I Love College. This is White Iverson by Post Malone, Tyler Hero by Jack Harlow, and Do the John Wall by Troop 41. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> but y'all were kind of on the same wave, Yeah, dude. we were. We yeah. went with a party vibe, and I thought I heard Chainsaw yeah. Party. This Chainsaw Party, it just sounded like an old Chief Keef song, and that made me think it could be Cemetery. Yeah. I was going to make a joke. I was like, anytime you play three songs at once, it sounds like a Cemetery <laughs> yeah. song. But then I was like, wait a minute. It might be a Cemetery. <laughs> John Wall. John Wall. You're too young to remember that. That yep. was my time. I know. When John Wall was in college, he had his own little dance. And then when he went to the NBA, they like made the song and he was like a rookie and he'd do that. And then he kind of fell short of expectations and the dance petered out. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. And yeah. he threw up bloods multiple times on the court. He threw up blood? Yeah. Was he okay? Well, it's like, yeah, I mean, he was nasty. He'd get to the lane, he'd do this, and then he'd... Oh, oh, yeah, I thought you meant gang sign. I thought you meant he 
John Wall blood. notoriously throwing set up ah. on the court. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. The commissioner said, John, can you stop that? And he said, no, I can't. <laughs> we banger, dude. We bonded to this song several times together. We bonded yeah. super hard on yeah. this one, Which is awesome. Three white guys bonding over White Iverson. When I started balling, I was young. Think about me when I'm gone. <laughs> I'm spending, I'm spending all this fucking bread. He does do that. That's that was key. good, dude. Yeah, I was no trying problem. to think because I was just singing it. I was like, I can't do it. Started. <laughs> you know how I know how to do that? Oh. Wizard of Oz. Turkey calling. Oh, sorry. Used to have to feed my family. Like you rich fuckers. <laughs> I can hear the turkeys calling. <laughs> 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 oh. These boys pussy and they PMS sing. Oh. People in the city see the movement occurring. I was really nervous when that song came out that Tyler Hero was just gonna fall off because I think this song came out like maybe after his rookie year. Yeah, and he was, was like sixth a, man. Yeah, he was like six man. He's a scrawny little white guy. Like the longevity is tied to that player's success to a degree. Yeah, this is the one that made me think it was Lonely Island. This yeah. is the one that crowded yeah. the mix, too. Yeah. Yeah, this is like too, too much hear. shit. This is like a noisy-ass old-school rap song. Yeah. Like. yeah, it's awesome. I did not think we'd ever hear that song on this channel, so <laughs> God bless America. And Bulgaria, sorry. Thank you. I hope Bulgaria isn't like a terrible, like, I hope they're not terrible. I, I mean, I did some research, but it was mostly just looking up fun facts and cool stuff. Any but, sovereign uh, nation has done evil. They've probably done some evil stuff. So I don't stand by the evil of Bulgaria, I only stand by the great part of it. We live in America. But I'm not singing the American National Anthem on High Mind. I wouldn't either. I yeah. will, if you guys want me to. No thanks. That's just because you have your rendition. Oh, say <laughs> can you see Ladies and gentlemen, Post Malone. <laughs> my little light. Almost sound like Arlo Guthrie, like you're yodeling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grant, let's hear the next event. Guess the song from one eighth second of audio. Woo! <sighs> We're getting shorter. We're getting even shorter, guys. Y'all have only got one point. That's I kinda... know, I know. Let's yeah. relax. Bulgaria. Wait, what? That was it? Oh, I had it on the first one. I did too. You know how people say counting up dead presidents? Yeah. You know what's kind of funny about that is like that means they're not counting up a hundreds. Like it's got to be all 50s, 20s, and 1s. It's true. Because oh. Benjamin Franklin was not a president. He was a sexual deviant though. <laughs> but yeah, you bring this up quite a bit about how he engaged in orgies and stuff. I looked it up and I did not find a single thing. Yeah, I got texts. You got to read books. Not everything's <laughs> online. Sometimes the truth is I looked is it up on pages. JSTOR. No, he was definitely a sexual deviant though. Like 100%. Oh, same same okay. with Tom Jeff. I don't know who that is. Thomas and Jefferson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he actually was. Yeah. Like actually a deviant. Like yeah. not in a fun way. Well, regardless, <laughs> I'm just saying it's interesting. Like counting up dead presidents, I'm like... It's a little tedious, yeah. you know? Yeah. You're just you're counting 20s and 50s, and then Benjamin Franklin was just like a, a kite-flying sex orgy guy. Yeah. I guess. Three, two, one. I put Perfect by JPEG Mafia oh. and Danny Brown. I put Rich Flex. I put Forever. This is Headlines by Drake. Oh! oh. I knew, oh, I knew it was that era. Yeah. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. Yeah, okay. I was hearing just like that, the the trumpet type thing. Like, yeah. Bah, 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 and I was like, yeah. oh, that's what I thought I had. I knew it was that era. God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> Grant, <laughs> what is the next event? Guess the song from the slowed down audio. Yes, sir. <laughs> slowed down. So what are the parameters here? One second slowed down to five seconds. Okay. I like this. I never got to play this one. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That sounds satanic. It sounds awesome. That's like what hell sounds like. <laughs> sounds like a man screaming in a metallic well. The rivers of hell run with blood. Yes. Did you know that? <laughs> There's no water it. down there. It's just blood. Is that true? Yeah. There's no way. I thought. I thought That's what Dante was said. Cold. Dante said the rivers run with blood. All right. Oh shit. The blood of the sinners. Yeah. But aren't the sinners dead. there? Yeah, but they don't have blood. They're just like banshees now. They're like. Ah. Seems a little excessive. I feel like honestly, I can respect his commitment to theme because you know it's like fire and brimstone and blood and bones and all that stuff. But eventually, it 
does become a little bit of like a parody of itself. Yeah. Mm. So if I got to hell and I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Rivers of blood. There's going to be a grinding of teeth. It's all that stuff. I'm like, I, I've heard about it and I yeah. get it, but like maybe tone it down a little bit. But heaven would be the same thing. It's like, okay, clouds and harps and gold and wings and all my loved ones and spending time with them for eternity and no pain and suffering Molly. and Molly, lots yeah. of Molly Yikes. and all that stuff. I would could get sick of that too. It'd take a little longer, but it's true. Put me in purgatory with the hipsters. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs>
Well, okay, dude, what? This is not... Only I <laughs> can stand up to God himself in the fire and the sword! <laughs> Holy shit. You're still in last place. Yeah, but I can defeat God. So. <laughs> really, am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? I defied science. Am I really in last place? This is yes. an incredible <laughs> moment. I'm not. You guys probably couldn't hear it, but as you, you know, it's just it was quiet outside, and all of a sudden you went, "I will defeat God!" And then thunder just strikes. <laughs> <laughs> like, the louder he gets, like the more uproarious the thunder became. It's really. I was like, "Am I like in a simulation right now?" And now another thunder. <laughs> you can just edit it in, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I just, went, rah, just rah, performed rah, it at rah, WrestleMania. And at Dreamville Fest with J. Cole and Drake. Drizzy Drake. We've got two left. It's a one point game between Bulgaria and myself. <laughs> Digging in back there with two. Got it! Grant, what's the Come next on. event? Guess the whole album playing at the same time. Oh boy. This is an entire album gonna be playing at once. We gotta guess what album it is. Can I do an impression before we hear it? An impression? <laughs> <laughs> What's that of? It's the whole album at once. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I was gonna say a jungle cat of some sort. <laughs> wow. Cool. Got it. You got it. Really? I think so. Oh, we were so bad at this game and everybody in the comments were like, how did you not hear it? It's yeah. so hard though. I'm just saying I got it because I need to be confident. My people are counting on me here. They are. Right, that's true. I gotta be strong because that's what they would want. You know, the other day it was super humid. I went out to toss disc that day. My hair had the ultimate frisbee. Oh! <laughs> Come on. There we go, there we go. Three, two, one. I put a whole lot of red. 10,000 gex. Scaring the hose, volume one. It is 10,000 gex by 100 gex. Gorda stara blood. Let's go! Oh, I'm tied with Bulgaria. <laughs> that is the perfect one for that. I just wasn't thinking about it. Riley, this is coming down to the freaking wire, my guy. All right, Grant, play that whole album real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the dumbest girl. I took ten of bills today. I got business on my thighs. Wow. <laughs> We are tied. There is only one event left in the Audio Olympics. May the best man win. Yes. I want the worst man to win. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you already lost. You can't win. Well, the worst out of you two. Oh, okay. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Grant, what is the final event? Guess the song from 132nd of a second. Oh, 132nd well, of a second. So that is half of 116th. So this is further than we've ever gone. This is crazy. This is breaking new ground. Oh, yeah. God. One thirty second of a second. That's one wordy sentence of a sentence. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? It's just like... <laughs> oh, that is a unique tone. It's like... <clears throat> oh, God. I really hope you win, Riley. Thank you. I hope I win as well. Why would you say that? He said he wanted the worst man to win. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Because, All right. You're welcome as well. As long as I win, I don't care what kind of person I am. <laughs> exactly. That's been my motto my whole life. I, I kind of learned that from Michael Jordan. Have Michael you Jordan's a piece of shit, In man. real life, but exactly. on the court. The what greatest, is he? greatest of all time. There you go. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Yes. Just winning. It doesn't matter what kind of person you are, how much you gamble, how many cars you drive around on perks. Talking to you, Tiger. <laughs> you got to go out there and win that game. Mia Hamm, she was the best soccer player of all time. And Big guess what piece she of did? shit. She used to write fake tickets, put them on people's windshields, walking down the street. Tripped old ladies. <laughs> she tricked old ladies into tripping as well. She'd put mushrooms in their tea at the nursing home. She did all sorts of shit. Terrible. Floyd Mayweather might be the best boxer of all time. Big. Actually clean record. Nothing uh, wrong with him. Big He's never done anything bad. Uh, OJ Simpson, same same with him. Same deal. Who's Jay Simpson? Great OJ. running back. Oh, I think he said, oh, Jay Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who the hell? Three, two, one. I put roll in peace, Kodak Black. That's scaring the hose. Leave the door open. This is a Millie by Lil Wayne. Oh. A, mi a Millie. Mm. A Millie. A Millie. A Millie. A Millie. Looks like we're going to a tiebreaker. There is no further that we can go. No. So the tiebreaker will be another one of <laughs> one thirty second of a second. Oh God. Somehow I find it hard to believe that we would ever get one of these right, but we're gonna see what happens. Me versus Bulgaria <laughs> for the first ever. Audio Olympics gold medal. Do you guys mind if I forego the overtime? Oh yeah, you can't. You're not even allowed to compete. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, you can't win, so fuck you. Hold on, give me a second, guys. <laughs> 
Where did you get <laughs> this? <laughs> Where did you? And what is it really for? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be audio stuff. It's not gonna be boxing. You know what? It's for the grit. It's for the determination. The color red in the Bulgarian flag. Can you guess what it represents? Blood. Probably. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the biggest question, the biggest tiebreaker in Hive Mind history. This is going to set the precedent for the whole Olympics of Great. audio. Yeah. They haven't done this before. Yeah. Yes. Nobody's yeah. done this yeah. yet. It's, it's going to be tough to write with those, though. I'm not going to write it. You're just going to say it? I'm going to whisper it to him and he's going to write it for me. Okay. Here we go. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Why is it shorter the second time? Why is it always shorter? Riley knows what it is. I think I have a good shot at this, actually. So this seems like something that would get picked for this amount of time. It's very ear piercing. Yeah. You got your ears pierced? No. I'm saying the song is very ear piercing. Oh, no, I know, I know. I was just asking. Oh, no, I haven't. Would you ever? Someone told me I should. You should. I don't think you should. I think you're like just an ear piercing away from being like a hot guy. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you know I mean, you've done a lot to like shape yourself into a hot guy over the years. Like you've gotten a lot of hot, work. like a lot of work. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, I think an ear piercing would really sell it because then I'd be like, oh, he, there's something like he's a bad boy and he likes pain a little bit. Oh, it's because the pain. That's why the ear piercing. I don't impressive. know. I think it's subconscious, but I think okay. like generally they see it and they'll be like, I, I like that this guy's got a little hardware. I might just stick a nail in my cheek, you know? Don't do that. Why not? Put a bullet through your foot. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Get Dripped by Yachty and Playboy Cardi. Put On Sight. This is Be Nice to Me by Blade. Uh, oh my God. I like your that. guess, though, because it has that, like, beep. It has, like, a beacon in the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just, like, that little beep. I also thought about that Drake song with a beep. You know the one I'm talking about? A massive. Massive, yeah, 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 yeah. The massive beep. Yeah, because we said it sounded like the Starbucks sound. Yep, exactly. Yeah, the Starbucks grill sound sounds exactly like massive. <laughs> the right. Starbucks, y'all know what the Starbucks grill sound sounds like. Yeah. I mean, when we're in there and they, like, they're making him, like, a feta cheese sandwich or whatever. You know, we failed on the tiebreaker. Grant did not think we would get this far. That is the only clip he has prepared. <laughs> and I do not think that we would be able to break a tie with a 132nd of a second clip anyway. I agree. So we've consulted with DJ Grant and he feels that the best way to solve this is a good old fashioned guess the rapper from the type beat. Yeah. The first video we ever did together. Uh, it's yes. kind of a, you know, this is like a real full circle kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Grant, let's hear this type beat for him. <laughs> It's one of those lyrical ones. <laughs> it's like where there's a list of 11 rappers. You have to pick one. Yeah. Would I mean, you say it's it's a faithful beat, Grant? What, what is your deal? You can't ask questions like this. Because you never heard a, it before. This is the time breaker. Saying, would, you, would you say it's it's not like the stakes are that the high. The stakes are super high. This would is you the say highest it's, stakes. It's like faithful, like it's good, type, like it's accurate. Oh, so you're not saying faithful, like religious. No, no, no. I'm saying like like it's. Oh, do the, you think it's a good type beat? It's for a good the type beat for the person who it's labeled as. I would say so, yeah. Okay. See, I feel like it can only be the person that I'm. I'm guessing. Like I'm it is one of those, it. it could be like, oh, well, I could be this person, it could be this yeah, person. I'm but just, when you imagine yeah. the person rapping, it's just this person. Three, two, one. J. Cole. J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole. No. <laughs> okay. Grant, pull up another one. Let's, yep. let's keep it going. Keep it going. The keep it going, Drake. Train goes on. In my head, I was like, oh, it could be Drake. It yeah. could be Jack Harlow. It could be Red Veil. But yeah. it's J. Cole. Like yes. J. Cole's rapping on that beat. Pulled out the condoms real smooth. Yeah, just how I practice. I'm picturing him like in the mirror, like, no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Too quick? You seem eager. You seem eager. No, no, it's no. Too, too slow. No, I ripped it. <laughs> He's practicing with ramen packets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, whoop, oh, oh. All right, G. Another type beat. We gotta get some of the track. Uh, is sneaker shopping with complex in answer? <laughs> <laughs> it really does sound like that. <laughs> Very generic. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg has Bulgarian heritage. Yep, I did know that. Really? Thank you. Bulgaria is the second largest exporter of rose oil, which is used to make perfumes. Yep, I knew that one too. What I do like about this uh, stupid bit that I've done that some people are probably tired of mm -hmm. is that by the end of this video, however, there's probably going to be like 100,000 people that just know a lot about Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They can go to it. They'll go to a dinner party or Bulgaria might do some terrible thing in the news. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now they'll, they'll be able to say, huh. 93% of them are circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> no, only 13%. 13% are circumcised. Oh. Uncut gems of Eastern Europe. <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with the baby. Little baby. This is the Migos. Oh, no. <laughs> I 
yeah. hired a sitter for the kids. I gotta, yeah. gotta get out of here. Yeah, I gotta call a few people if we're gonna keep doing this. Uh, <laughs> Grant, come on, dude. Let's keep it going. Yeah, one more. We're not even gonna. We're not even gonna. No banter. No, no, no banter. No, this is all about getting a gold medal yes. on somebody's. What's this neck? <laughs> this <laughs> what is this thing? That's this collarbone, neck. <laughs> Enough banter. Okay, just, just whispered in my ear, bankroll Hayden. <laughs> I think it's bankroll Hayden. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Right in, right here. Right here. <laughs> Bank, let me get it. Bankroll Hayden. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Rod Wave. Juice World. It is a Juice World type beat. Yeah! Yeah! Bulgaria! <laughs> wow. Bulgaria is the first winner of the Audio Olympics. Can I play the national anthem while I do a victory lap or are you gonna get copyright claimed? We'll get copyright claimed right. by Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah. Just do your victory lap. Wow, congratulations. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Bulgaria, Ooh. the man. Mm. Oh, you only did one? Is well, we can edit him in. Yeah, there he goes again. <laughs> I don't think you know how editing works. You just edit it. <laughs> you think in. I could just edit laps into it? Yeah, That's not of how course. it works. <laughs> oh, jeez, here we go. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's almost a formality at this point. Yeah. 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 All right. Can All right. Stone the metal upon me, please. Sure. Here you go. All right, <laughs> our Bulgarian representative has won the game. He's our first audio Olympian. We would like to thank Quadeka for being here. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for having me again. You know, favorite channel. It's always a pleasure to, that I'm that I'm allowed on here. It's a it's a humble. I humbly accept every time. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Yeah, That's how many, how many likes do you want? How many likes? Well, for for the next audio Olympics, if you guys like this, I want to see eleven thousand one hundred and eleven likes. Nice. One, oh, one, 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 oh one, yeah, one, one, angel one. numbers. And also, if Quadeka is in your city, the tour poster's on the screen right now. Go see Quadeka on tour. Stream his music on Spotify. Apple Music, wherever you stream music. New music coming soon. And new music coming soon. Get your tickets now, it's gonna sell out. And then other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. And Diggy, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? To fear love is to fear life. And those who fear life are already three parts dead. Whoa. And this has been I'm on TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bow! Oh, this is Dignan, by the way. Okay, bet, bet. That's him. Right there. <laughs> oh my god, they can't put that on YouTube, bro. What are you talking about? He's just drinking water. That's how he drinks <laughs> oh water. Oh my god. Yeah, I've, he's dribbling everywhere. I've, I've taught him that the mechanics of how this isn't the best the way to drink water. Uh, this is, my tongue dude, he's I like, like it. it's like s slimy. It's this is like, why he's always dehydrated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All good. Is that like attractive? You think not some people anymore. find it attractive? I don't know if they find it attractive, but I know still- Oh, women do. Ladies? Oh my god. <laughs> god bless you. Thank you. You are to Utah, get out. Utah ought to go on with yourself. Good luck playing against these experts. Utah, get, get out of here. <laughs> you talk too much. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 that's yeah. yeah. You talk you ought to go on and get on out. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> Me off the weed edible. <laughs> Ooh, the NFR guys wrote NFR podcast on this. Forever staining it. True. And then I think this is Anthony's name. Uh, Dev Lemons drew that. I wrote that there. I'm verified. You'll notice I've never, I've never stained one of your boards before. And I respect you for that. Oh, is, a, is that a phone number? What? Yes, that is a phone number. No, that is actually okay. Peter Frampton's birthday and the year I think he'll die. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just update it every year. Yeah, there's a 22. It's yeah. crossed out. It says 20. Yeah, because he made it. Yeah. He survived. Yeah. He survived. You give him another year. Watch your back, Frampton. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>